Barbara Cunningham? Here. Mm -hmm. Barbara Lano? Here. Kevin Kay? Here. Lisa Morrow? <clears throat> Susan Decko? Here. Andy McCann? Here. Robert Sand? Here. This town adopted an ordinance entitled an ordinance appropriating $2,990,000 for planning, design, and construction of improvements at 147 Cozy Beach Avenue and authorizing the issuance of $2,990,000 bonds at the town to meet said appropriations, and pending the issuance thereof the making of temporary bar for such purpose. And, whereas on July 6, 2007, the town clerk, pursuant to Chapter 3, Section 10A of the East Haven Town Charter, certified to the town council to issue this ordinance, said ordinance. Now therefore be it resolved, one, and the ordinance entitled an ordinance appropriating $2,990,000 for the planning, design, and construction of improvements at 147 Cozy Beach Avenue and authorizing the issuance of $2,990,000 bonds of the town to meet said appropriations and pending the issuance thereof, the making of temporary borrowing for such purpose, adopted by this council on June 5, 2007, Theme is hereby repeated. Two, this ordinance shall be effective in accordance with the provisions of the East Haven Town Charter. Thank you, Bob. Just want to advise everybody tonight. This is a public hearing for public comment. You know, questions answered. So uh, I'd like to call the mayor first, uh, Mayor Matero, to make a comment. I have a written statement here, and I will pass them out. You can pass them out to the council members. If you wish. Dear Chairman McKay and members of the East Haven Town Council, first I would like to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to appear before you this evening to address the recently filed petition for the repeal of the body ordinance regarding the candlelight property located at 147 Cozy Beach Avenue. Let me get right to the point. I am recommending that the council vote to repeal the body ordinance. The reason for my recommendation not because I believe the project to be ill-advised. Rather, I believe that to force the issue to a referendum will be an unnecessary waste of taxpayer dollars. Having made my recommendation to repeal the ordinance, I would be remiss if I did not, not propose a course of action for the future of the candlelight property. As you know, the property was acquired on May 4, 2004 by vote of the Board of Finance and by this council. After the property was acquired, a committee was formed to review available options and recommend a use for the facility. During the entire time that the committee met and until the recommendation to the council, I never expressed a preference publicly for the use of the facility, although I was asked many times by the press covering the town of East Haven. I withhold my questions intentionally so as not to sway the opinion of the committee or its members. Unfortunately, individuals who recently circulated the petition to request a repeal or force a referendum, referendum on the body order did so with considerable misinformation to the public and totally with motives to advance a political agenda which has nothing to do with the merit of the project as presented by the committee to the council. Proof of this stems from a simple fact that none of the individuals who now seek to challenge by petition the bonding authorization ever attended any of the duly noticed public meetings of the Candlelight Committee to express objections to the plan when they met for over two years, or to offer construction, constructive criticism, or to offer any alternative proposal for the use of the property. Notwithstanding, these obvious 
self-serving motives, I am recommending repeal of the bonding authorization to avoid the expense of a referendum. I am also reconvening the candlelight committee. I'd like to just come off my comments here and just let the board and the council know that the committee was made up of people from all sections of town, professional people, blue-collar people, builders, and developers, some of which who I don't know who volunteered to be on the committee, who met over the two years span for free at their own time and missed the numerous hours of public session. I will ask and request Chairman McKay to appoint a subcommittee of the council to meet with the candlelight committee to review the future of the candlelight property and report to this council on a proposal for such future use within the next 90 days. I will also appoint a subcommittee of the Board of Finance to also attend the committee meetings in order to allow input back to I urge all members of the council to vote to repeal the bonding authorization and to avoid the cost of the referendum. Thank you for your courtesy and your consideration of this request. Thank you. My name is Sam Israel, 41 Robert Drive. I came before you two months ago to talk about this project. I was against it at that time and I'm still against it. I was one of the people that were standing out there getting petition signed. And I just want to give you some information that what took place during that time period. Many of the citizens in this town that signed that petition were unaware of this project and expressed an interest that they wish they had the opportunity to vote on, whether it's good or bad. Believe me, I I'm not in favor of it, but if it went to a vote, the people may vote for it. I don't know. I can't answer their questions or ask how they vote. And what I want to bring out to you, two months ago when the article came out in the paper about the public hearing, and it's legal, there's nothing against the law here. I know you can't see it from where you're sitting, it's so small. It says renovations and bonding at 147 Cozy Beach Avenue. How many people do you think in this town know what 147 Cozy Beach Avenue is? You think the average homeowner, working husband and wife, you think they know what 147 Cozy Beach Avenue is? A lot of the people that signed the petition didn't even know what candlelight by the sea was until I explained it to them, and I was happy to explain it to them because I still think it was the wrong project for this time. Personally, I believe we own the property. I would like to see the administration recommend to the council, and I can't make that decision. We should get rid of that building. It's an eyesore. Get rid of it, hold on to that property, and come up with a nice idea that can serve all the citizens of East Haven. Thank you. Noreen's Club. Club, 32 Chesey Avenue. Mr. Chairman, members of the Town Council, I come before you tonight to ask you to consider taking this issue to the voters of East Haven. I am one of the many individuals that circulated the petition on behalf of the Candlelight property. After stating the facts given to us by Mr. DeSormo, Mr. Rizzo, the town engineer, and the fire chief, the people overwhelmingly felt that this was not the time for such a project to move forward. They felt with their taxes going up, bonding another $3 million in this property was inappropriate and fiscally irresponsible. If the council members want to know how the taxpayers feel, let's take the issue to a vote. When our schools are in district care, our roads need repairing, and our library needs fixing, I feel if the town needs to bond the money, then it should be done for something we really need. I understand that bonding is paid back over several years. I formerly served on the Board of Finance for four years. But put the money to good use. You really do need not to move forward with this project at this time. I agree with the Town Council when the money was bonded to purchase the property. We need to hold on to a piece of our short But with the rising cost of utilities and our taxes rising, I ask the City Council to take this issue to the voters of East Haven and ask them how they want their tax dollars spent. I've been before the Town Council once before. For the 
property reevaluation postponement. I circulate the petition then to postpone the reevaluation. On both these occasions, I felt it was the right thing to do. I can assure this council if they decide to table the issue and bring it up again after the election. I will be back with many individuals and I'll be asking my friends, my family, and my neighbors to sign my petition again. It was stated at the last hearing regarding this issue by a member of this town council that it was being made a political issue. It's not a political issue, it's a taxpayer's issue. Therefore, let the taxpayers of these taken be heard and let the taxpayers vote on it. I thank you all for your time.